From the only toxic bird in the world to a dangerous caterpillar on the loose with enough toxins to kill, here are 10 creatures you won't believe are toxic. Number 10. The Hooded Pitahui Let's start off the list with one of the only toxic birds in the entire world. I am talking about the Hooded Pitahui, and its feathers contain one of the most dangerous toxins known to science. According to Australian Geographic, this bird lives in Papua New Guinea, one of the last truly wild places on Earth. It was first researched back in 1989 when a scientist from the California Academy of Sciences travelled to the country in search of the birds. He ended up catching a few and then sending them back to the United States for testing. After analysing the feathers of the bird, it turned out they did indeed contain extremely potent neurotoxic steroidal alkaloids that can cause paralysis, cardiac arrest and ultimately death. It's the same kind of poison used in the infamous dart frogs of South America. In fact, gram for gram, this is one of the most toxic naturally occurring substances known to mankind. But why the heck is it found in bird feathers? The reason is actually because these birds feed on certain poisonous beetles and they pick up the toxins from the beetles. The birds eat the beetles and then the poison ends up almost being absorbed into the body of the birds, which it can then use to poison human people. It really is quite strange. Number 9. Hawksbill Sea Turtles You probably wouldn't have guessed, but one of the most toxic animals in the ocean is actually the Hawksbill Sea Turtle. Hawksbill Sea Turtles are omnivores. They pretty much eat nothing except seagrass, some barnacles and a few small animals. In the Caribbean, Hawksbill Sea Turtles actually feed exclusively on just a few types of sponges. In a single year, an average turtle will eat about 1,200 pounds of sea sponges. Outside the Caribbean, the same turtles will eat a more varied diet, including invertebrates and algae. But the weird part is that some of the sponges and some of the small animals eaten by these turtles are toxic, but they are not toxic to the turtles. Their body fat absorbs the toxins without getting the turtles sick, but then it makes the meat poisonous for other animals to eat. If you were to try and eat one of these turtles, you would probably get sick because they taint their own meat by eating toxic critters. It's kind of like accidental protection from ending up on a human's dinner plate. Number 8. The Cane Toad This one might not actually be a big surprise for anyone. Some toads are known to be toxic. But in Florida, there is a particularly toxic toad that is becoming quite a nuisance to people who live in the state. While cane toads are probably not going to kill you, they're actually super poisonous to your cats and dogs. An adult cane toad carries enough toxins inside its fat body to ward off just about any predator. When this toad feels threatened, it will shoot toxin from its back. This stuff is not only toxic, it's super sticky too. It's like the toad shoots poisonous glue out of glands on its back. And if you have a curious cat or dog that decides to sniff a cane toad sitting in your yard, it could mean instant death for your precious animal. And God forbid your pet decides to bite a cane toad because they will get a big gush of poison in their mouth. If you see one of these ugly brown toads hanging out in your yard, shoo it away and try not to touch it. And even though I said these toads live in Florida, that doesn't mean they can't live pretty much everywhere in the United States. They do prefer warmer climates, and they are most active after heavy rainfalls, but they live pretty much everywhere in the US. Also, if there are a lot of bugs in your area, you can bet there is a poisonous toad lingering somewhere nearby. Number 7. The Spanish Fly we all hate flies, but there is one fly you might not have heard of that is incredibly dangerous and toxic. Let's take a minute to discuss the Spanish fly. In reality, it's not actually a fly, it's a blister beetle, and it is super dangerous. This beetle has a unique defensive secretion which has actually been used as an aphrodisiac since thousands of years ago. But it doesn't work. Instead of getting all excited in the bedroom, a squirt from the Spanish fly would probably land you straight in the morgue. According to Wired, men actually used to lace women's drinks with the secretion from the Spanish fly to try and get them in the mood. But more often than not, it didn't end quite the way they wanted. The Spanish fly is dangerous because it can leak toxins out of its leg joints. Even if you just touch the stuff that comes from the beetle, it can make your skin bubble with nasty blisters. For example, if one of these beetles were to land on your neck and you decided to squish it, you would very quickly look like a person with a bad case of syphilis on your neck. It's not advisable. If you were even stupider and decided that you wanted to eat a Spanish fly, it would probably be your last meal. The poison inside its body is a powerful cyanide and it has no antidote. It could literally strip away the lining of your stomach and make you bleed internally. Your kidney would try its hardest to purge you of the toxins, but at the same time your urinary tract would inflame and hurt a whole lot. The moral of the story is to stay away from the Spanish fly. Number 6. Crown of Thorns Starfish it's always a little hard to tell what's poisonous in the ocean and what isn't. Everything under the sea is bright and looks dangerous, but not everything is. 
However, there is a creature out there you should definitely stay away from. It's the second largest starfish in the world, known as the Crown of Thorns starfish. It's unique, it's very pretty to look at, it can grow to be upwards of 30 inches, and it is dangerously poisonous. This starfish is called Crown of Thorns for a reason. All over its body are sharp spines that serve as a warning to any creature stupid enough to get too close. But this prickly starfish has another trick up its sleeve besides just being pointy. The spines contain neurotoxins and special starfish poison that are incredibly dangerous both to humans and to marine animals. Because the spines on the starfish are super brittle, they can easily stab through a wetsuit and puncture your flesh. And yes, if you are stabbed with one of these spines, you're going to be injected with a super dose of venom straight into your bloodstream. The result will be nausea, painful and swollen extremities, but probably not death. Many people think starfish are just stupid animals that grow on rocks and never move, but these creatures are actually quite smart. Some of them, like the crown of thorns starfish, can move at speeds of up to 12 miles per hour. Number 5. Rough-Skinned Newt One of the most poisonous creatures in the entire world is one you would probably never expect. It is indeed hard to imagine that the rough-skinned newt could be 10,000 times more toxic than a dose of cyanide. But it absolutely is! There is no known antidote for the poison inside of these newts. Literally every part of them is poisonous. From the time the egg is laid, the poison begins to grow. If you were to eat a baby newt, some newt eggs, or even an adult, it would be the same tragic result. The poison stored inside the glands in their skin would cause you to die pretty much right away. This is because the poison is known as tetrodotoxin, and it's the exact same poisonous substance found in the Japanese puffer fish and in some dangerous South American tree frogs. Unsurprisingly, the rough-skinned newt does not have any predators. Even though your local garter snake is immune to their poison, it still doesn't dare to eat them. The only thing that kills the rough-skinned newt is the automobile. According to the Seattle Times, every spring they are massacred in the thousands as they try to cross the road to breed in their favourite ponds. And of course, habitat destruction is also gradually destroying the most poisonous newt in the world. If you are unsure what exactly a newt is, they are basically baby dinosaurs that look like lizards. But really, newts are just salamanders. The rough-skinned newt is the only known salamander that is active above the ground and during the daytime. This is because the newt has so much poison that it doesn't need to hide from any predators. Number 4. Striated Surgeon Fish The striated surgeon fish is one of the only poisonous fish in the world. What's really strange about this fish is that it doesn't look poisonous at all. It looks like a totally normal fish, but it actually packs a deadly toxic punch. Just like most other surgeon fish, it has scalpel-like spines on its tail that are incredibly sharp, which the fish uses for both defense and offense. The fish lives in rocky coral areas no deeper than around 100 feet, and they typically live in large groups or schools of thousands. But the real curiosity with the striated surgeon fish is that it's one of the only herbivore fish in the world that is sometimes toxic. It's not naturally toxic though, it picks up its toxins slowly because of the algae it feasts on. The fish actually gets more and more poisonous as time goes on thanks to an accumulation of a certain toxin produced by something known as microscopic dinoflagellates, which it ingests whenever it feeds on algae. Number 3. Cone Snail You would never think a snail could be one of the deadliest creatures of all time living in the ocean. And while most snails are perfectly harmless, the cone snail is an absolute murderer. Cone snails usually lurk in the sands in shallow reefs, and if you accidentally surprise one while diving, you could die almost instantly without even feeling a sprinkle of pain. The cone snails are actually quite pretty to look at, they seem innocent enough, but all that outside beauty hides a deadly secret. It's all about the cone snail's harpoon. It basically has a long needle that sticks out from its mouth that it uses for attacking prey. This allows the cone snail to feast on fish, marine worms, and even other snails like some kind of cannibal. Even though the snail itself is slow, it can shoot its harpoon from its mouth in a split second. The harpoon instantaneously injects venom into your body along with a special anaesthetic and painkiller. You might not even know you were stung. It often feels just like a pinprick, and you don't know what's going on until it's too late. Unfortunately, there is no anti-venom available for cone snails. And another pretty nasty thing is that you might not even die right away. It could take a few minutes or a few days for the symptoms to kick in. Some of the chemicals in the venom of a cone snail are 10,000 times stronger than morphine. Just imagine all of that stuff being injected right into your bloodstream. However, a 2004 report from the journal Nature claims that only about 30 people have ever died from a cone snail. So, the chances of it happening to you are pretty slim. Number 2. Poisonous Catfish 
This may be just the most shocking animal on the list. You would never in a million years think that catfish could be toxic. But a new study from the University of Michigan has found that there are at least 1,250 species of catfish that could be venomous. This is far more than what we previously thought. Of course, the chances of a human being attacked by a killer catfish in North America are super slim. They typically use their venom only to defend themselves against predatory fish. Catfish can still inflict a very painful sting on anyone dumb enough to grab one with their bare hands, but in North America they really aren't that dangerous. It's in other parts of the world where catfish have super toxic venom that can indeed be deadly to humans. Catfish have venom glands situated along bony spines at the edges of their dorsal fins and pectoral fins. When the catfish feels threatened, it locks its spines into place, and when a predator gets stabbed by one of the spines, a membrane surrounding the venom gland is torn and venom is released into the wound. This is totally bizarre. Honestly, who would have thought that catfish could be so venomous? What's even more interesting is that the same study is showing that the toxins inside of some catfish's skin secretions actually have the properties that accelerate wound healing in humans. This is all very shaky right now, but it looks like catfish could be the secret to turning into wolverine. Number 1. The Pus Caterpillar This is the Pus Caterpillar, and it looks like a toupee. It is also one of the most toxic caterpillars in the entire world, and as recently as 2020 they have been spotted roaming around eastern Virginia, according to the Virginian Department of Forestry. This thing doesn't even look like a caterpillar. It could almost be a brown clump of moss or a dirty toupee that fell on the ground. However, inside the hair of this caterpillar are lots of poisonous spines. According to National Geographic, if you touch the caterpillar, you will probably get a prick that feels pretty much the same as a bee sting. However, that bee sting will get worse and worse. You will come down with intense pain, a serious fever, brutal nausea, and symptoms of shock. It's probably not enough to kill you, especially if you get to the hospital on time, but you should definitely stay away from these caterpillars. They live in parks and anywhere near oak or elm trees. And they don't only live in Virginia. Pus caterpillars can be found all along the East Coast, from Florida to New Jersey and even westward all the way to Texas. Which of these toxic animals surprises you the most? Let me know about your encounters with poisonous animals in the comments. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. See you again soon for another fun video.